Greetings everyone, and welcome back to another installment in the iWish series, a series in which I investigate rather dubious tech products sold on various sites around the web just to see if they're any good. Most of the time they are not, but I like to buy this stuff so you don't have to. And today is almost like a follow-up to the previous investigations I've done on iWish, taking a look at various storage devices with ridiculous capacities for cheap, which all turned out to be a scam, obviously. If you want to watch those videos, I'll have them linked in the description for you to check out if you want to. I'll also link the infamous 8 terabyte drive up the top if you want to watch that one, because that's a fairly interesting video four years later. But something I've been seeing a lot of recently are these fake Samsung looking SSDs on AliExpress. They have the same looking sticker, the same font, the same model number, like the real deal, except they don't have any Samsung branding. So I'm just interested in taking a look at these just to see the claims and see how close the advertised capacity is to the real capacity once I investigate these drives. People can still fall for these scams because you can get these drives in smaller configurations, which are a bit more believable and not something like a 64 terabyte drive, which most people should know by now is a scam. So if you're looking for a new SSD, please stick with reputable manufacturers and sites that are trusted with actual brands. And yes, I know you can find them on AliExpress, but it's better to go to an actual retail store or a decent online store to get something like this with warranty and all that proper legit stuff. You don't want to have your data on these cheapo drives that will likely fail within a few months, and also the faked capacity. These drives are made as cheap as possible, so don't ever expect anything out of these things. So in today's one, I'll be taking a look at two drives. Both of these SSDs are NVMe drives, and I've yet to actually investigate any NVMe devices on the channel, so this will be a bit exciting. The first drive I've purchased is a 1TB 990 Pro, which looks almost exactly like the real Samsung 990 Pro drives. I paid a total of $35 Australian for this 1TB drive from AliExpress. I won't display any Karateek version charts, because now if we look at a real 1TB Samsung 990 Pro drive, that will actually cost you $239 Australian directly from Samsung themselves. So there's a huge red flag there to know that the one on AliExpress is definitely not legit from the cost itself. I wonder what the total capacity of this 1TB drive will actually be. Then the next one is a 4TB 1080 Pro drive, which costs a total of $44 Australian. It has the same sort of looking sticker on it like the other drive, except Samsung doesn't make a 1080 Pro drive. This one is just purely for looks and the fact that a bigger number is better. For a 4TB 990 Pro drive from Samsung, you are looking at $700 Australian. So once again, another huge red flag there cost-wise. You can get 4TB drives slightly cheaper from other manufacturers like Western Digital, Crucial, Seagate, etc. You'll still be paying a bit for them, obviously, but you will not find any legitimate 4TB SSDs for 50 bucks. I can reassure you of that. Both drives I've purchased off AliExpress have actually been removed, but searching up 1080 Pro or 990 Pro on AliExpress brings you a heap of other results from other sellers. So let this video be a warning to those considering purchasing one to stay away from these at all costs, because these claim to have ridiculously fast read and write speeds, but for the price I've paid for these drives, I am not expecting too much. They also market these to say that they work with the PS5, which they absolutely would would work with a PS5, but these drives having fake capacities won't make the PS5 too happy, and it's probably going to be spitting up errors the minute you have more than 100 gigabyte of files on there. At best, both these drives will be 128 gig each, but we'll see how we go in this one. So here I have the two parcels. Let's crack these open and take a look at the boxes of both of these and see what the drives actually look like. So the first one here actually comes with a heatsink and there is the 990 Pro one terabyte in there. They've just stuck a one terabyte sticker on there. We've got PCIe, NVMe, M.2 SSD. And look at this down the bottom there. They've gotten rid of the S and it's now called an Amsung. So these are Amsung drives, but this should be copied directly off the real Samsung drive. So don't be fooled by this packaging. And we'll take a look at the other one and see if it's the same. Which, oh, there is an SSD in there. Oh boy, that looks jank. Same thing, four terabyte drive, and on the back there, it does have Amsung Electronics. While they don't have any obvious Samsung branding though, the fact that they've copied the information is sketchy to try and make you think that they're actually Samsung drives. This one doesn't come with a heatsink though. Maybe they include these heatsinks because of how fast and speedy these are gonna be. Or perhaps they might catch on fire, either way. So the first one we have here, oh, we get a screwdriver as well, and some screws, is this just here. We have a bit of tape, just on the SSD there, which doesn't do too much there. We also have a code on the SSD as well. It says that it's a Demo One M2 2280, which is the physical size of the drive, for NAND 152 BGA version 1.0. And the sticker itself says VNAND SSD 990 Pro PCI NVMe 4.0 M.2 SSD. Easiest way to tell what we're dealing with would be to have a look at the chips on board, which is quite interesting because they've sanded it down. 
to try and get rid of the evidence. I can see that there is something written on that chip there, but I can't be too sure what it says because it's very difficult to see because they have erased what it says, so you can't easily find out. And just lifting up the sticker, we see that we have four spots for a flush module to be installed on, but we only have one available. And what we have right here is a PF671PG, which I believe I've seen this chip on one of the previous devices I've reviewed. I think that's about 64 gigabytes, but I'm not too sure. So that is the 990 Pro. Let's take a look at the 1080 Pro. I love how they just throw the SSDs in there. No anti-static bag or anything like that. Just casually throw it in, that's fine. So this one's a little bit different. We actually have a model number on here, which says 256G just there, which may tell us straight away that this is a 256 gig drive. It does say it's made by Delahey Electronics. Never heard of them before, but there you go. Same piece of tape that's on there holding the sticker down, but we also have another sticker on the back that says PCI M.2. And we actually do have right there, Samsung Electronics on the back. So we actually do have Samsung branding on these. Also, they're keyed differently as well. So the 1080 Pro drive is M keyed, whereas the 990 Pro is both B and M keyed. Now lifting up the sticker on this one, we have the same thing going on. We have a chip there that does not have any information on it. It's been all stripped away. We appear to only have one module on this just here. Once again, there is support for four flash modules, but only one is occupied. We do actually have a code on there, which is very difficult to see because they've tried to erase it. But I'll have a look and see what this is. So I've searched up both codes on the module just there and I can't find anything about them. I think it's best if we plug these into a PC and see what they come up as. I'll be using an external enclosure to test them on my junk laptop. Don't mind my junk setup here. Just grab that out of there. So let's stick our 990 Pro into the enclosure and go ahead and plug it in. We'll see if it pops up. There it is. Uh, so this is not accessible. Incorrect function. All right, we'll see if it's coming with disk manager. It is there, but I can't do anything with it. Let me try another enclosure. I've got another enclosure here, which should work fine. So I'll try this one. There we go. Now in this one, let's see if it comes up. Interesting, it's actually not coming up. Let me just make sure I'll put my one terabyte back in. Okay, my one terabyte comes straight up. So straight off the bat, this one doesn't actually work. Nope. Okay, let me try the 1080 Pro and see if that comes up then. The enclosure should accept both keyed drives, but I'll try the 1080 Pro in here and see if that comes up. And there it is, four terabytes. So I'll go ahead and make a new simple volume. All right, that is done. Now the tool I'm gonna to be using to test the drive is H2 Test W, which I'll link in the description so you can test it on your own device. But basically it just runs a series of tests to make sure the capacity of whatever drive you're testing is all legit. So I will select my target for this, which is new volume. In the meantime, I will try the one terabyte drive in another PC to see if it works. Also with the 1080 Pro drive, you can see the little LED on board, just blinking there. So that means it's, uh, it's doing its job. And uh, also for the write speed, we are writing at 34.4 megabytes. Granted, this is in a USB enclosure, but I'm sure if I actually tested the drive in an actual PC, I don't think I'd get much performance out of it. But let's see how we go with this and I'll be back soon. Update on the one terabyte drive. I've got this absolutely terrible condition Acer Travel Mate here uh, with a cracked touch screen. It actually does work and I've run an SSD benchmark and that's the scores I got for it, which from the scores there, you can see it's not exactly the fastest drive on the planet. But if you also notice at the top there, it says 119.808K OK, which possibly means this drive is 128 gigabytes. I'm going to also run H2 Test W on this, and let's just write and verify 256 gigs just to see the results. Okay, so a bit of an update. We've got a blue screen, and I've already had a number of blue screens. It got to writing 120 gigs to the drive and then crashed. So I stopped H2 Test W and just tried to run Windows normally. It's just running super slow now to the point where it's refusing to even boot up now. So 120 gigs is what the capacity of this drive is. Now, mind you, when I first installed Windows on this, it pretty much loaded in about 20 seconds or so. Uh, this has now just come to a complete stop. It's getting there. Granted, this is not the most fastest machine, but with an SSD, it should still be fine, but 
Uh, let me just show you what it's written to it. And that is what is written, 122 gigabytes. With it crashing right at that number, that is where I'd say this drive sits. It is a 120 gig drive, and towards the end of the H2 test W before it blue screened, it was only doing a write speed of about four megabytes. So I think we've concluded the one terabyte 2B 120 gigs. So now let's wait for the 1080 Pro and see if that's 256 or if it's less. Speaking of which, uh, that's kind of happened. Um... I'm pretty sure this is fine, don't worry. Ah, this laptop crashed, now I have to start the test all over again. And it's only running at 569 kilobytes. I guess I'll just leave this and come back tomorrow night. Here we go folks, the moment of truth. I was writing 286 gigabytes for 82 hours, and I've been verifying 149 gigabytes for two hours at 19.3 megabytes a second, and this is actually only a 128 gigabyte drive. I thought maybe it would have been 256, but nope, it's just 128. So both of these drives are in fact 128 gig SSDs. And I say SSDs very loosely. They are just really cheap flash modules on an M.2 PCB. And yeah, that's how that works. So the results are very interesting. I would test the read and write speeds on this 1080 Pro drive, but I think you all get a rough idea of what's going on with this. That's pretty much my investigation. So I think we should wrap this video up. And there you have it. That is the investigation of these fake Samsung SSDs from AliExpress. I knew they'd be fake, of course, but I wanted to make this video just for the people that are out there looking for SSDs for their PS5 or their laptop or something. They see these drives and they think that they may be Samsung, but they're in fact not Samsung, but rather just knockoffs of real Samsung drives. As I said earlier in the video, make sure you stick with reputable companies when purchasing storage devices because it's really how much your data is worth to you. And if it's worth sticking it on one of these drives that cost 50 bucks, and then losing it all when these fail, there's not much you can do at the end of the day. My investigation of these videos exists for those people who just aren't sure. And hopefully I've proven to you all that these are a scam. And if you have purchased one of these from AliExpress or other sites, immediately make a dispute to get your money back. Link this video as part of the dispute to prove your point and hopefully you can get your money back and instead purchase something from an actual reputable manufacturer and not these cheapo things. But it is sneaky that they tried to put Samsung on one of them though, and that Dallahy Electronics is a telltale sign that it's a fake drive, as well as the 1080 Pro and several other red flags have already been over in this already lengthy video. And I just wanna say that I don't promote the sales of you know these fake products and stuff. I'm just showing these for entertainment and educational purposes only. I'm buying these so you don't have to. And I think I've covered everything I needed to in this review and investigation of these drives. I'm actually gonna open up a dispute with AliExpress and send them back. I was thinking of sabotaging them so then they get back faulty drives, but I think I'll just send them back as they are and just get my money back. The scam will still continue, but if I can raise awareness just a tiny little bit about these drives to make sure that no one purchases these, then I'm happy at the end of the day. All right, everyone, that is gonna do it for this latest installment in the Irish series. I hope you've all enjoyed this one and let me know what you thought of this down in the comments below. And let me know if you've seen any other SSDs like this that have been faked on other websites and stuff. I'd be interested to see what else is lingering around out there. So thank you all very much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. And I hope that I'll save someone from buying these things. So until the next time I see you all, please take care, stay safe, be good people. And I'll see you all in the next video, which will be more cheapo stuff, most likely. Or something good. I'm not too sure. It'll be something. But until the next time I see you all, take care of yourself. Keep being awesome. And I'll see you soon. Sorry for the jank setup as well. Bye. If you like this content, feel free to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.